This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater, and I've seen Grey Gardens, the 1975 documentary film from Albert and David Maisels, uh, along with Ellen Hoved and Muffy Mayer. It takes a very intimate and personal look at the lives of two reclusive women, both named Edith, living in a dilapidated house within an otherwise wealthy neighborhood. In spite of the attention they have received, partially due to their relation to First Lady Jackie Kennedy, the two Ediths live in relative comfort, spending each day the best that they can. Not that they have to make it on their own, of course, but the film does show the downsides of their living situation, both when it comes to the state of the house, but also when it comes to living with each other. The concept at hand may seem a bit exploitative, but in a different sense, it makes the movie feel more immersive, putting the viewer directly into the world of these women and seeing it from their perspective, almost literally at times. It gives them a chance to tell their own story as they see fit, which ranges from simply lounging and sunbathing to going into their personal archives to share pictures and audio recordings from the past. The two Ediths are rather endearing as characters, contrasting the dire state of their home with their brighter personalities, which in themselves end up clashing at times with each other. All of this is put on display up close, and it makes the viewer feel right at home with the woman who in turn acknowledge this sort of invasion into their lives as they make conversation with the Maisels themselves. The entire situation becomes a bit more comforting, at least in that sense, but things do still get a bit weird, mostly in how the women act and argue with each other, which does add a layer of realism and immersion, but also just feels kind of awkward. That might just be me. Anyways, there actually isn't too much else about Grey Gardens I can think to talk about. The lack of a true storyline and the filmmaker's decision to make the movie more observational is the main reason for that, but it also ends up being the movie's greatest strength. It's not only a character study, but an immersive one which brings everything about the characters into greater vision and presence, if that makes sense. Details that might have otherwise only been shared through basic interviews or with archival cutaways are now given to us directly by those involved, and with it, their own perspectives and memories of these past events. The fact that we hear these stories straight from the woman adds another layer of truth, though it also does bring into question what exactly is accurate and what is being embellished. I don't really mean that in a sinister way, mind you, since the fact remains that the two seem more than happy to share whatever they can for people who are truly interested. Grey Gardens, Albert Maisels, David Maisels, Ellen Hoved, Muffy Mayer, 1975. Four stars. I'd say, give it a watch. It might feel a bit slow, but I figure that's because the two Ediths feel that they have all the time they need. That's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. I did have a bit of trouble trying to find stuff to talk about here, honestly. The movie's just hands-off and self-explanatory like that. <laughs>